All right, Silka friends, we are here to talk about step one of the Silka Bicycle Spa, uh, Bicycle Clean and Protect project. Uh, step one, also known as Detox, is the ultimate brake and drivetrain cleaner. Uh, this is probably the coolest product uh, of the group to, to actually work with. Uh, you know, I talk in the launch video a little bit about the work that really went into this. And, and like I said, it was our friends in car racing that really got me thinking about how to do these products better. Um, you know, this is a thicker than water. I mean, you can see it in there. It's, it's thin enough to come out of the spray bottle, but it, it's a good bit thicker than water. Really keeps the cleaner from migrating into places that we don't want it to go. You know, that's one of the key problems with a lot of the degreasers and, and particularly brake cleaning products on the market today. You know, most brake cleaners are formulated to be much thinner than water and to wick and pull themselves into all the little nooks and crannies on your bicycle that is causing so much harm, right? As it's climbing its way past seals and into bearings um, where water can't get to it, right? So, you know, most brake cleaners on the market are acetone-based, uh, contain toluene, uh, contain naphtha, which eats wax, uh, including off of your paint. Uh, so they're very paint unfriendly, they're very skin unfriendly. And in the case of the chlorinated brake solvents, which is about half the market, they're also highly carcinogenic. Um, and they just smell terrible. So, you know, looking at what the car racing guys were doing, it, you know, and they said, well, gosh, this, this is not that hard of a problem to solve. You target the thing you're trying to remove, in this case, dust, uh, you know, road grime, road oils. Um, we know the stuff that we're trying to remove here. Um, let, let's go at that and not go specifically at things like you know, the greases that we're using, the lubricants that we're using. And so, you know, really hit me, hey, let's get the stuff out of there that attacks wax. Let's get the stuff out of there that attacks the good grease uh, and grease additives. Let's get the stuff out of there that's going to attack or damage seals to bearings. Um, you know, a lot of time in the Pro Tour over my career, and I will tell you that, you know, Pro Tour teams are replacing bearings and wheels every couple of months because the degreaser that they're spraying on the bike every day when they're doing the bike cleaning migrates in there thinner than water um, and then the water can't get in there to flush it out ever and so you just get this buildup of grease you also get a lot of seal damage right we see this in bottom brackets uh, at the pro tour level and, and particularly in like the pulleys um, the degreasers just get in there and accumulate over time and just start eating away and the seals come out all kind of curly and you know looks like a dog chewed it up um, this is formulated to not do any of that uh, this stuff is thick. It is formulated to go on where you spray it. Um, as it attacks that uh, the dirt and the, the brake dust in particular, it turns this beautiful dark red color. Uh, it lifts, encapsulates. We're going to use that word a lot in these videos, but it, it lifts the dirt off the surface. It encapsulates it uh, in the cleaner, uh, and, and then it, it's allowed to run away because that surfactant technology is also uh, is naturally lubricious, right? So it, it just wants to drip off with gravity. Uh, it, it's really a beautiful process to watch, but it also is removing everything we want to remove without attacking the stuff we want to leave behind. And in the case of our drivetrain, uh, the stuff we want to leave behind is the wax uh, lubricant that we're using on the chain. Um, it will not climb into the chain and attack oil. If you're using uh, an oil bait or wet lube on your chain, it will not get in there and attack that stuff. It will take the stuff out of the out off the outside uh, to clean your drivetrain, but it really, we don't want this stuff down in your chain, down in your bearings, down behind seals where it's going to be impossible to wash off. The last, I think, beautiful thing about this product is that uh, because it is water-based, um, unlike other brake cleaners, it can be sprayed through a spray nozzle, so we don't have to use a, um, uh, an aerosol can, right? So, But it also is then uh, water-soluble when you rinse it. And so when you rinse it, it rinses very cleanly. Uh, that is not true of most, uh, most brake cleaners on the market, right? They almost all leave some sort of residue behind um, that you just don't want, right? We do not want to leave residue behind on our chain uh, because that's keeping the, the lube that we're going to put on the chain from attaching properly and doing its job, right? Or, or if you're using a wet lube, it's essentially going to be a, a, the residue is a solvent that's going to dilute 
the wet lubricant that you're adding to the chain in the future. So, you know, we've worked really hard uh, on that. We've also, because it doesn't attack wax, it will not strip the wax off of your frame. So if you're using a wax product, I mean, it doesn't have to be ours, but including ours, um, to protect your paint, this will not attack wax, and that includes the wax that you are using to protect your frame. So if you're using any wax, uh, ours, you know, anyone else's uh, in, in the market, this will not take that off. We see this in a lot, or I guess we see that type of damage in a lot of bikes, particularly at the Pro Tour level, um, that are used where, you know, maybe the bike is waxed when it's new to try to protect it, but then over time you just start to see the, you know, the left fork leg and the left side of the rear triangle there uh, just really looking bad as essentially that's just raw paint uh, being exposed to all the other elements that are thrown at it. And it, it just, it, it just looks terrible. Um, it certainly isn't helping the resale value of your bike. Uh, and it certainly isn't very pleasing to look at. So there you go. Uh, detox, you know, you spray it on, wait three to five minutes. I mean, watch the magic occur as all the stuff drips off. Um, spray it really, uh, really well with water to rinse it all away. Uh, and again, water soluble, so it will rinse out. And now you are ready for step two, which is scrub.